Coach Mays, you pointed out last night, double headers are often an 80% proposition to get in the split. You overcame those odds today. What were the keys for you? Well, you know, our team just grinds it out. You know, we've gone into the season, we knew we were facing a lot of adversity with the travel and the schedule and getting into a new conference. And, you know, we kind of tried to prepare them accordingly. And if you know adversity is coming, you can respond to it pretty well. And today was a perfect example. Alan Falaro goes out there after having caught 21 innings of baseball and gets to the walk-off hit to win it. It just, uh, that's a, that, that points out everybody on our team, you know. Maybe that's kind of surprised that somebody, you know, catching both ends of a doubleheader. Was it always your plan, you know, to have him do that rather than subbing someone in the second game? Yeah, you know, uh, Kansas is a big part of their offense is running, and he, he shuts down the running game, and I don't think they had any stolen bases in the doubleheader today. And, you know, you're going to play low-scoring games these days, but they got good pitching, and we've been pitching pretty well, so we had to, we had to keep him in there because one stolen base could have made a difference. Looked like both teams decided to just go with the guy that put him in the extra innings and, and got him there. Was that your feeling that, that both of those guys are going to go till somebody that scored a run? Well, you know, Corey Walter, the guy we put in, has been a starter, and he could have stayed out there for three or four more innings if he needed to. Uh, their guy's not used to that. <laughs> he's more of a he's more of a closer, so that favored us. The longer the game went, that the more it favored us. The, uh, the first game today, obviously, a lot had been made of that game two and, and not being able to pick one up. How good does it feel to kind of get that monkey off your back a little bit? Uh, that's good. It, it feels good, but the way we did it, you know, by switching Deerdorf and Walter from the bullpen to, to the starting rotation, uh, both of those guys really pitched well today. So that uh, that's something that, that we'll use in the future, and, and that's a big bright spot for us coming out of this weekend. Obviously, a lot of baseball to be played, but just to, to kind of look at where you are right now in nine and six, that, How's this team done it, and how does that feel for you? Right now? Well, they just done it with, uh, you know, the ability to grind out at bats and play pitch to pitch, and their willingness and their heart and their desire. You know, we—I uh, was telling somebody else that the day that the conference standings came out, the preseason rankings, was in the middle of a spring practice, and when I found out every coach in the league picked to, picked us to finish last. We called timeout in the middle of practice and called everybody together, and I told them, I said, guys, I've got some really good news for you. Everybody in the league thinks we're the worst team in the league. We were just picked to finish last. And from that moment on, I think our guys, especially on the conference weekends, they come out every game to prove something. Has that helped you overcome, you know, when errors and bad plays do kind of crop up? You obviously had some base running mistakes there in the extra innings, but didn't seem like it affected them or carried over to the next at bat, the next inning. Yeah, you know, we've been winning some close games here lately, and uh, even though we made some mistakes, we were still in the game, and, and everybody in the dugout, starting with me, uh, had a feeling we were going to win that game the whole time. I never I never doubted our guys' effort and their ability to, to come through late in the game like we've been doing a lot lately. The weekend in general, big crowds, great games. Just how much fun was it? Oh, it was a lot of fun. You know, we've been playing on the road so much. Uh, it was the first time we've been in the state for a while. And, uh, great crowds come out here, and they had the let's go Mountaineer chance going, and our guys respond to that. You know, it, uh, that that gives us energy, that gives us passion to play, and and hopefully for the people who came to watch us, they'll come back because they liked what they saw.